All right, here with officially a Gamecock now, Ronnie Martin. Uh, Ronnie, again, tell us uh, what was it like to actually put pen to paper, and uh, you're now truly a Gamecock, and will be enrolling, you know, in uh, less than a month, I guess. You know, like I said before, I've been waiting a year and a half. It's official now. I'm finally happy. I'm just waiting to get there in January. You know, to compete for a starting spot in the spring. You know, my plans. I'm pretty sure I'll be starting because that's just how I feel right now from just being at JUCO. You know, I'm just proud to be a game cop, man. I'm, I'm happy with Coach Barry, Coach Brown, and Coach, Coach Robinson. You know, just keeping me motivated through the whole time I was at Georgia Military College. You know, I'm just happy to be here with my family. It's, it's a great day to be a game cop. I know it seemed like from uh, talking to you, you kind of uh, developed a pretty good relationship with Coach Joe Robinson. I know he came by uh, with the in-home visit a couple weeks back. Uh, what is that relationship like, uh, and what kind of stuff has he kind of told you to be prepared for and kind of how you fit in? Well, you know, just you know, being in a great relationship with Coach Robinson, you know, I, when I first met him, he came, he came to visit me. I didn't even I didn't know anything about him until he came. He found me at Georgia Military College. He came down there, you know, he, wanted to, he, he, he was talking about my family from the first day, so I knew he was going to be a great coach. So, you know, he wanted to meet my family, you know, came to my house, got to meet my family, my nephews and everybody. He showed, showed support all the way around. You know, as far as, you know, being an athlete at Carolina, you know, he, he told me to prepare for the special teams. You know, he, gonna, he said, you know, I'm going to be a great DB, but he definitely, I'm going to be a great uh, punt returner, kick returner. So that's, that's what they're looking forward to right now. Uh, coach Gray Brown, you mentioned him. Uh, seems to be kind of a player's coach. The players uh, like him a lot. Uh, what kind of have you? What vibe have you gotten from him? How well have you gotten to know him so far? Well, from I, I talked to him on the phone. He just, he sounds like he's, he's a coach that you know he he wants his players to succeed. You know he he, he stays on them. He makes sure they get everything right. You know he just I mean you know only only thing that's going to stop you from getting better is you. You know you saying coach coach Brown. You know he he teach you everything. He, he may keep your head on right. Make sure make sure you doing everything right. He's a great coach. And um, as far as uh, your time at Georgia Military, what, what do you think you did learn? I know it, it wasn't always the easiest, but what have you maybe learned? Learned about yourself, learned about life just from spending that time there? You know, being in Georgia Military College, you know, it's a, it's a place you just don't think a lot because it's not where you really want to be. But, you know, the whole time you're there, they, they talk to you about it and tell you that, you know, it's not only good just, just playing sports, but, you know, when you graduate, you'll become a better man in life. And, you know, just you just get better at just, you know, doing regular things, just you know, getting a great education and be able to go out and, you know, people look at your resume, they see Georgia Military College, they say, okay, he's been through some things, he know, he know how to get through it. So, you know, I just feel like being at Georgia Military College was a great experience. You know, I hated it when I first got there, but as I finished, you know, I realized that it actually helped me to mature and come to a better person. We were talking last week at the Tron Bowl, a chance to reunite with Clowney, uh, Shamir Jeffrey, some of the other guys, you know, you played with in high school or played against in high school, played with at the Bowl in high school. What's that going to be like to, to get up there with some of your guys, some of your guys you already really know well? I mean, they already know what's coming. They see me in the Shrine Bowl, you know, when I get down there, just going to the Temple, it's going to turn up, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. So, you know, it's just the Temple is going to be it's gonna be very high, you know, get there, do, do what we did when we was at Shrine Bowl. You know, we, you know, we got, got close, you know, we just – we're not at practice, competed, made each other better. You know, I'm, I'm looking for them to make me better because I'm going to make them better. Do we know, sorry, do we know what uh, number we're wearing yet? Right now, it's either four or I'm thinking about, I wanted to wear number two, but I heard it was retired. So I might, I'm just thinking about number four, probably probably 23. And, uh, and finally, as far as um, a red shirt, I know you missed a lot of this year, had the injury. Um, your uh, your coach at GMC told me he thought you know you would get a red shirt. Uh, what, what's the latest on that? How does that process even work? Do you know for sure yet if you're going to get a red yeah, shirt? Uh, I was talking with uh, Robbie Lyles and he was telling me that you know my uh, red shirt it will it, it, go through. But right now it's just like you know just you don't really apply for it until after after your junior year or the year that you're there. So he said eventually nine times out of ten we we get the uh, we get the red shirt. So I'm thinking the red shirt is 100. percent Cool. And finally, uh, what is the goal? For you personally, and just for for the team, of, you know, lots of South Carolina guys on the University of South Carolina team. What do you, what do y'all hope to accomplish uh, when you get to Columbia? When I get to Columbia, I just hope to come and just win the SEC, bring home the BCS. You know, I just just win and just you know get better and just bring bring that next championship home in South Carolina because that's where it need to be. That's brand new Gamecock, Ronnie Martin. Appreciate it, man. All right, thank you.